Now your time is split between uh, two different series, the uh, SCCA Pro Trans Am uh, Racing Series and the SCCA GT1. Uh, tell us why you're splitting between the two. Um, well, we're we're still split because I want to um, do another shot for the runoff. Uh, you know, I just have been trying and trying and trying to win. It's just one of those races that you know winds up being kind of hard to to win. And um, you know, our best finish is is uh, I believe fifth or fourth or fifth. And um, I uh, I I decided this year some of the venues were out of our reach in Trans Am, so I I decided to run another split season and and uh, you know the pro racing is awesome it's it's where I want to be um, but I still like the club level level racing and and it's in the runoff the national championship is always a great venue so we're going to be in both and I, and I think it gives us both good exposure for for us and my sponsors to be. <clears throat> in both series right now um next year is up in the air i don't know if we're going to split our focus again we'll have to see how this year plays out but um i like running in both it's a good competition across the country in both series well you certainly get to uh go out in uh, a race with the likes of uh, rj lopez and tony yav uh how's it like doing battle with those guys uh, out there on the track oh it's good um I raced with RJ in club racing, GT1 before, and Tony Ave both. Um, I raced uh, with Tracy, and, and in 2006, uh, I ran in the Trans Am Series and, um, at Cleveland Grand Prix. So I, I've, I've had my shot at running with these guys quite some time now. Um, and they're, they're great competitive drivers, and um, I think we all have really good cars, and it makes for a good show for the fans and in our different venues so um it's always a good time running with those guys now you're currently second in scca gt1 uh are you confident you're going to be able to catch the leader um it just depends um if we decide to run any more nationals um you can count six nationals towards your towards your uh, points total and um right now i've run in five and um I'm not sure if our schedule is going to allow any more nationals this year. We're transitioning back to Trans Am now. Um, there's uh, three or four more races we're going to compete in for Trans Am. So um, I'm not real concerned about winning the Northeast Division again. Um, it would be nice, but uh, I think our main focus is good quality finishes in Trans Am. And then also, uh, you know, I think the the national championship runoffs is probably my main focus to try to win versus uh, the division championship. Okay. Now you say your uh, your race team is comprised of family. Uh, how well does that work out? It works out great. Um, you know, it's um, we have good support. Um, I'm close with my family, and uh, it makes everything tight knit. And uh, it's it's always best when you're surrounded by people that love you and and want you to succeed. So, um, you know we've we've grown up together and stayed together and we play together and <laughs> so we just you know having my family there means the the world to me. Like last weekend we were at Watkins Glen and my whole family was there and my sister was running in Spec Racer Ford and uh, I was running in GT1 and. Uh, her husband is the crew chief for her car and takes care of that for, with uh, Dynasty Motorsports. So um, it's great having their, their kids there with us, and they love racing. And I think we're bringing up two more future racers. Uh, her daughter Katie and, and Bobby, is, her son, was there. They're six and four, and they can't get enough of it either. So it kind of reminds us when we were little that that's what, what it's all about, having your family there, and it's, a, it's just fun to, to partake in. Well, it certainly makes it more enjoyable when you have people that really care about you and you're surrounded by them. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot just a little bit. Uh, you and your sister, <laughs> are you uh, are you uh, a little bit of a rival? Do you uh, compete against each other a little bit? Who's the better driver of the two? Um, I wouldn't. Uh, we, we do compete against one another. We used to run uh, – I used to run spec racers along with her, and uh, we were actually uh, surprisingly – normally around each other during the race and, and for qualifying we you know one weekend i'd out qualify her or vice versa and she'd out qualify me so 
we um we we relatively ran uh similar similar times in spec racer and now that I've transitioned into G T one I just I run a lot more races than she does. Um, you know, she's she's not quite at the level lately that I've been running. So anytime you're in the car, it always makes you a better driver. So I, I wouldn't say that I'm a better driver, but um, I just drive more often than she gets to, I guess. Um, but uh, we have a good, we're, we're best friends and, you know, we're, we have a great competition between each other if we, if we were to get back in the car, but we would be teammates. And then uh, when it came down to the last lap, we would probably not be teammates. <laughs> During that's the a, race, you know. It's a good, healthy rivalry, huh? Right. Good. Uh, what are your future plans in racing, and what is your ultimate goal? A future, uh, you know, the future is always near for us. Uh, we just focus on the main season that we're in right now. Um, and then when that's over with in the off season, we'll discuss maybe next year. Um, I hope uh, Trans Am continues on. I, ultimately, that's always where I've wanted to run. Um, it's a great series and great fast cars. You, you can't get any better than sprint racing and, and the Trans Am road courses that we run that are great. So um, my future plans are, you know, always up in the air. Um, but at this point, um, I'm happy where I'm at. So your next race is in Toronto. Uh, what are your uh, preparation plans? What are you doing for that? Um, well, actually, uh, we got the car home Monday from New York. They, the guys worked diligently and turned it around and, uh, it headed out yesterday, uh, for Toronto. And, um, I believe they, they've moved in and get everything set up. I'm leaving tomorrow and, uh, we're going to head up there and, and, um, you know, it was a quick turnaround for the team and kind of close on time, but we're ready to go. And it's my first time running there. So, um, and it's actually my first time experiencing, um, uh, temporary street course in uh in our mcnichols corvette so it should be interesting and um i'm looking forward to it it's going to be a fun fast weekend and uh i can't wait good uh what was it that uh caused you to choose the corvette as your racing platform um actually uh this car uh my dad purchased in uh, 1995 it's a rocket sports uh um it was actually a camaro when we bought it um, back then, we've rebodied the car twice since then. It was a Camaro and then a Corvette, and now it's the newer style Corvette body. So um, we've just always been Chevy people, and I think uh, you know that was basically up to my dad. So I'm still running his car um, that we purchased back then, but uh, we've made significant changes and updates throughout the years. So that's why we're still competitive with it. Awesome. Well, Amy Ruman has been our guest today. Uh, we want to thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, your interest in us. And um, if you'd like to follow us, uh, we are on Facebook and uh, Twitter, and it's uh, Ruman Racing page is the Facebook page, and Twitter is uh, backslash Ruman Racing. We also have a website. It's www.rumanracing.com, and that's R-U-M-A-N. All right. Excellent. Well, thank you so much Thanks for your for time, Amy. We appreciate it.